What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and talking about the new Microsoft products that I have in front of me. This is exciting for a couple of reasons because one, this is the new Surface Laptop Studio. This is entirely a new form for a new device for Microsoft. And we also have the Ocean Plastic Mouse as well as the new Slim Pen 2. But not only do we have new devices, we have an entirely new operating system. We have Windows 11. So there's gonna be a lot to talk about today. Let's go ahead, unbox these and just get right into it. Let's start off small with the Slim Pen 2. This is a really cute little box. So this is rechargeable with up to 15 hours of typical usage. What's really new and exciting about this is it now has the built-in haptic motor, which means you are going to get that haptic feedback. You're gonna get that genuine, authentic feeling as if you are writing on a piece of paper. I did test this out briefly, but I'm excited to actually sit down with it and experience it as I would using a device. Next up, we have the Ocean Plastic Mouse. This is cool because it is made from recycled plastic from the ocean. What's also gonna be really cool about it is that none of them are gonna be the same since it is made from those recycled materials. They're all gonna have a unique look while still maintaining a similar look. I love how light it is. It's super lightweight, very compact, very nice. Oh, it's like, hey, pair me. And I'm like, wait, I'm not ready yet. I opened the accessories first. On to the main event, the Surface Laptop Studio. This is built for performance, this is built for creating, this is built for using, and I'm gonna use it. So this one is the 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor with 32 gigs. It has one terabyte as well as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti GPU. We're all about easy opening here. Okay, we've got a, 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 a big boy charger, 102 watts. It seems bigger, that's what she said. Stop it. Why would I do that? I just want to let you know it's really late when I'm recording this, which has nothing to do with anything. I would have said the same exact thing. So this device is unique because it has basically three different modes. It can be laptop, it can have stage mode, and it can have studio mode. So this is built for performance. You can build apps, edit video, render animations. You're gonna have smooth gameplay. We do have a 14.4 inch touchscreen, and underneath is where you can actually put the Slim Pen 2. It will magnetically just click in there and it will charge. So I'm gonna leave that on there to charge. Oh, oh my God, wait. This is my first time booting up a PC with Windows 11. I know, I'm excited too, Maddie. It's here. The time is now. With this display, we also do have up to 120 hertz refresh rate, which is nice. We do have the 1080p camera. The Intel Core i5 model weighs 3.83 pounds and the Intel Core i7 model weighs four pounds. There also is a removable solid state drive where you can get up to two terabytes. For the ports, we have two USB 4 with Thunderbolt. We have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the one Surface Connect port. And with this hinge, it's the dynamic woven hinge for a frictionless motion of the display. Windows 11 is booting up and I am here for it. And of course we do have Windows Hello, so right now I am setting up my face. That's it, you're all set. Okay, I wasn't even ready that happened so quickly. It's here, Windows 11. Where's my pen? Oh, it's where it should be, underneath here. All right, this is where we are going to set it up and download some things and just get absolutely wild. Let's see if we can connect. Oh my gosh, that was uh, instant. Let's open up, let's click and see what this does. It brings up the Microsoft whiteboard. So I'm not an artist. It turns out I have the um, artistic skills of a newborn. I actually don't even want to insult the newborns because that's mean. Don't let this be a reflection of what you can do on this device. This is just what I can do right now. So new on Windows 11, we have everything right here front and center. We actually have Teams built in. I wonder if Justine will answer my call. No. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download all of the things that I do and I'm just gonna use this for a day or two or maybe longer and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. So I am back and I have been messing around with the Surface Laptop Studio. I've downloaded a lot of apps and I've been doing a bunch of things. I decided that I would try to edit this video in Premiere and give you guys a demonstration and then I quickly realized that this was going to take me a lot longer than I realized. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to edit in Premiere. I will say that throwing these things in the timeline and you know doing a couple of quick edits, it felt pretty good. It felt fast. There was no lag. There was no rendering. It was just like, bam, in the timeline. And these are big files. What's really new and exciting about this is I just don't understand because like the shortcut for cut is control K. 
But then there's also the razor, which is C. Look, I just hit delete and everything deleted. This isn't my comfort zone and I paid $31 a month for this demonstration and it didn't do, uh, it's really sad. This is cool because it is made from recycled plastic from the ocean. I'm just gonna stick with my comfort zone and I'm going to learn how to be better and how to edit on Premiere on this device. But for today, is that none? It's not happening. All right, next up, gaming. Now this does have one terabyte of storage, but we do have cloud gaming and I think that that's what I wanna kinda demonstrate here. I didn't download any games. I'm just gonna jump right back in to Ori. You don't wanna fight me. I mean, you clearly do wanna fight me. I have gained a new ability. So this was just playing from Xbox Game Pass Ultimate with their cloud streaming services. I am able to download games. I didn't, but I will definitely be playing like Tarkov and other PC games. Far Cry is coming out soon. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing on PC or on Xbox. One of the apps I use every single day is Adobe Lightroom. I usually edit my photos in Lightroom and then take them to Photoshop. I'm gonna up the exposure a little. Contrast, highlights. Oh yeah, highlights, yeah, nice. Gonna make it a little cooler temperature. I wore this shirt to the surface event, not realizing that plaid kind of looks like the logo. Let's do a little double tap. Take that as a screenshot. And as you can see here, that right there is unknowingly me wearing the surface logo-ish. It's a good story. I also just wanted to show you how I can double tap this and we can take a screenshot and we can draw. Oh, did you want me to highlight it? Right here. This is the area I was talking about, right here. Good example. And then normally this is where I will go to edit in Photoshop. And now we have our picture in Photoshop. We can actually move this down like this and do a little drawing number. Or usually I want to do like little lines or like something just to like draw attention to a product, which obviously I can do with my mouse or my trackpad. But like something about doing it with the pen just feels, feels nice. All right, so let's go ahead and open up something on YouTube to get an example of, let's, is there any 8K content we can watch? Now, obviously this is not an 8K display, but. That feels like I'm there. Wow. Whoa. I can feel that in my body. This actually might be some of the best speakers that I have ever heard on a device. They are that good. It's very impressive. And over here with the widgets, I haven't fully customized mine yet, but it is pretty nice having like all this information. You can customize it to have it be relevant to things that you're interested in, things that you wanna see more of. For example, grown up mac and cheese cups. Yeah, I'm interested in that. All right, now let's open up Adobe Fresco. What's really cool about Fresco, if you are an artist or a painter or a drawer or an illustrator or whatever, there are so many different options and there's so many different details that you can actually do. Watercolor round detail, you can change the angle, the spacing, scatter. We can change the taper of it so it could be like real pointy. Really? Do it a little less pointy. Let's do it super pointy. Wow, I like beginning with the taper. That's really nice. Anyway guys, this was just my first impressions of the new Surface Laptop Studio. I have been enjoying it. I've just been kind of testing it out to use it as I would use it. The 14.4 inch screen is actually something that I didn't know I needed. I've been using a 13 inch, but also a 16 inch. The 16 inch is great, but it makes it really heavy. The 13 inch is a little too small. This size is actually the perfect display size, which I didn't realize until right now. Windows 11 is really great as well. There's so many cool things you can do. The new snap display is a really cool feature where it will tell which device you're kind of using and then it will help you figure out which display will be optimal for what you're doing. I'm just really excited to test this out and use it a little bit more thoroughly. The battery life has been pretty good and I really don't have any complaints so far. I'm a huge fan. I realized the other day that I accidentally did this and I don't know if like you're supposed to do that or not and I was like huh that's interesting. So like if I wanted to show you guys something, I would just be like, flip. I don't know if that's part of the selling point though. But when I did it, I was like, that's cool. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see for a more in-depth review from this device. I will see you guys again next time for a new video. Make sure you subscribe and yeah, I'll see you later.